Every week for three months, teams of 30 students around Kampong Cham province will come together to learn how to raise fish. In the process, the children learn practical livelihood skills to help supplement family income and also learn to work together, conduct research, and think critically about the world around them. When I learn how to raise fish, I can make extra money to buy materials to study. The students can bring their skills back and make a small fish pond of their own, like the one at school, in order to help their families back at home. Schools around Cambodia are bringing life skills courses in topics like cooking, motorcycle repair, and sewing into the everyday curriculum. Our school offers a lot of different life skills. The students like this, and they come to school more, and they're very happy to participate. SCUP's life skills program places importance on empowering children to choose their own topics of study. For many, it will be their first opportunity to make independent choices about what they will learn. This course is known as IPM, or Integrated Pest Management. IPM was originally developed for farmers as an environmentally sustainable way to control pests and maintain crop yield without the use of expensive and harmful pesticides. Over 80% of Cambodia's population relies on agriculture to sustain their livelihood, and the majority of the population live in rural areas. SCUP's program brings IPM techniques in vegetable growing, rice production, and fish and frog raising to primary and secondary schools across Cambodia. <laughs> yeah. In IPM, the field, the garden, or the pond serves as the book. Learning spills out of the classroom into the real environment. In IPM, students learn how to build a fish pond and care for fish. But they also get real practice in subjects like math, literature, business, language, social studies, and biology. For teachers, IPM is not only about pest management, but also about improved pedagogical methods. Here the students reinforce math skills while measuring out the fish pond. Ponds are only 4 meters wide and 0 0.7 meters deep, which means that it's easy for schools to find the space to have the fish, and it's possible for students to bring their skills home with them. Around Go Secondary School, the fish raising program has spread into the local community, where many families are now setting up their own fish ponds. Now we have knowledge and good ideas, so we can go and disseminate these ideas to the people in the village to help poor families make some extra money. I was interested in the fish after I heard them discuss it at the school, so I spent just a little bit of money to get started with the fish pond. I think we're very lucky to get this information. Next, students line the pond, fill it with water, and treat the water with plankton. This lesson mixes biology and chemistry as students see how plankton interact with the water to promote healthy fish. In the fourth week, students release the fish into the pond and feed them for the first time. Fish are fed with locally gathered insects, which eliminates costs for buying fish feed. After the fish are released, students check up on them weekly, taking measurements to analyze their health and growth, and making decisions to adjust feeding or change water to improve their yield. After three months, students can harvest around 28 kilos of fish. Some schools celebrate the students' accomplishments with a community celebration. 
After that, the process can begin again with another group of students. The first round of fish raising costs $60 and requires a teacher and commitment from the community. With the price of fish around $2.50 per kilo, schools can currently raise around $70 in a three-month period. After the first round, the only cost is for baby fish at $10 per 200 fingerlings. So, the $70 is more than enough to keep the program going without additional capital. Though IPM was originally designed for rural schools, it can also be implemented in urban settings because the fish pond does not require very much space. For more information on this and other programs, please check out our website.